to CBS Mornings. I'm Gail King. Coming up in this hour, America's response to the Ukraine crisis. We'll talk to Senator Chris Coons on the Foreign Relations Committee. I'm Tony DeCopo. Avril Lavigne is back with a new album. It's called Love Sucks. And she talks to Anthony Mason about keeping her rock and roll dreams alive. I'm Nate Burleson. What better way to honor the end of Black History Month than with a poem? It's all about creation and innovation by great black Americans. You wrote it and I heard it's good. But first, here's today's eye opener at 8. Ukrainian forces fiercely defend their cities from Russia as Ukraine's leader agrees to meetings with Russia at the border. Now, the Ukrainian delegation is demanding an immediate ceasefire. Ukraine's army says it fought off several attempts by Russian forces to storm the outskirts of the capital overnight. But generally speaking, it's been a lot quieter here in the city than in the past few nights. The war has created hundreds of thousands of refugees, many of them fleeing to Poland. A log jam here at the exit. Dozens of up for food and water after waiting for days just to flee the country. The first criminal trial stemming from the January 6th Capitol attack begins today. For the first time, the U.S. Justice Department is showing its hand in a January 6th case, setting the tone for potentially hundreds more cases to come. New York announces plans to lift a statewide mask mandate for schools as COVID cases drop. Now look where we are today a 98% drop in cases. And two soccer teams and a big crowd rise to their feet in solidarity with two Ukrainian players. The two Ukrainian brothers in arms, how they can concentrate on football with everything that's going on back home, goodness knows. It's so interesting to see the strong show of solidarity from all over the world for the people of Ukraine. I think for a lot of people, they weren't paying attention a week ago. Yeah, right. And all of a sudden, when you look at what many people believe are the injustice of someone just coming in and taking your country, you have to stand up and go, that's not right. Yeah, and then it, Russian athletes as well standing up and, and that's saying, right, Tony. Right. They're, not, they're not behind this. That's I love right. those athletes yeah. using their states. Me too. Make a statement. Me too. Uh, we're going to begin this hour with Ukraine and a dramatic escalation in the crisis there. Russia's military confirmed this morning that the country's nuclear forces have indeed been put on high alert. President Vladimir Putin calls it a response to, quote, aggressive statements by NATO leaders. Take a look at these images from the city of Kharkiv, where intense fighting has kept Russian forces at bay, at least for now. This morning, crisis talks are underway at the Ukraine-Belarus border. Democratic Senator Chris Kuhn serves on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, uh, and he went to Europe last week to meet with leaders of NATO countries and the president of Ukraine, and he joins us now. Senator, good morning. You're also on the Judiciary Committee, and we do want to get to Supreme Court questions later, but we're going to begin with Ukraine. Uh, you've met with leaders in Europe. You're also close with our leader here, President Biden. Uh, what can you tell us?